Hey there, I'm so excited to share with you today that I'm launching a coaching business for artists. So if you are an artist and want to build your art business and really need a little bit of help because you're just starting out and you need a little bit of guidance because we all do, especially with our mindset, then this is perfect for you. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it now. To be honest, I always knew, at least very deep down, that I wanted to become a professional artist one day. But like most of us, I grew up hearing that it's not possible to make a living with art. All those kinds of things that you hear when you're growing up. I, at least I heard a lot of that. I heard it at school, I heard it from family, people telling me, and they meant well. They weren't really mean about it, they just meant well telling me that it's such a shame that I'm so talented at art but it's just so hard to make a living with this and I really grew up hearing that and I know that most of us do because the people around us they just mean well they want to protect us they want us to get a quote-unquote real job to just make a living and to just be safe but now I know that all of this conditioning wasn't necessarily true because those people just weren't artists themselves or at least professional artists. And why would I listen to people who haven't done what I'm about to do? And they just meant well, but they just didn't know any better. But when I first started my business, I was totally lost and didn't really know what to do. I was so scared and in my own way that it took me years to start my YouTube channel. I really wanted to do it for a long time, but I really, I was so scared. I thought that I wasn't good enough to do it, honestly. And when someone tells me that now that they feel the same way that I did back then, I just really want to give them a hug and tell them it's okay and you can start now. I give you permission to do it and please, please just get started. And honestly, I wish that I had someone who came and tell me that I don't need to be the best artist and I don't have to have great charisma right away and I don't have to have all the marketing skills already. and. All those things. You don't have to have all your ducks in a row before you get started. Also, it's okay to be scared and to doubt yourself and you can take action before you're ready. You don't have to wait around until you can do this. And I just wish that I had known all of those things earlier. And so I personally started to invest in coaching half a year ago and it has honestly changed my life because now I'm really taking action towards the things that I actually want to do and have someone who tells me that stuff that I know is true and that I know I need to hear but sometimes I didn't want to hear it. But also what I've learned is that a good coach isn't harsh and I'm not a harsh coach. I'm not going Going to tell you to push through and be super rigid and all those things. In fact, I'm gonna teach you the exact opposite. I want you to understand that you are worthy already, no matter what you do. And you're now doing this in order to grow and evolve. And you're right where you are supposed to be. Even if you don't want to accept it, and even if it feels bad where you're currently at, it's not always fun. You are where you're supposed to be. And you're gonna grow and evolve so much and I just help people understand this and be kinder to themselves and actually give them credit for all the things that they're doing because most of the time our brain just dismisses all the things that we've already learned and that makes it so much harder to show up in the future and achieve even more because we don't even give ourselves credit for the things that we've already done. And so I uh, wanted to tell you all of these things and also share a few clips from the coaching that I've already done because maybe you can learn something from those clips and really understand what coaching actually is and what it actually does. And if you're interested in having an art business coach, I'm here for you. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. Check it out on my website. You can either buy it directly if you have a PayPal account or you 
can message me if you need a payment plan and if you have any questions just feel free to reach out to me and now enjoy the clips of some of the coaching calls that I've done so far I think that it's so helpful to see what other people are learning because often we can relate to them and that your biggest struggle is picking a name but then you said in the next sentence that you already know that that's uh, you kind of already insinuated that you know that that's a roadblock that that's self-sabotage and yes <laughs> you yeah, you just figured that you gotta just keep one name and go with it and i agree you can always change it later it doesn't have to be the perfect name so that was my first thought that we're always trying to get the perfect name the perfect niche the perfect whatever it is the perfect platform to post on and we get so hung up on that and yeah. in reality we just have to get out there and do the things already and yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> yes I always yeah, it find that when I'm not sure about something like that and when I'm in confusion, uh, that's a very, very sneaky self-sabotage because you don't mm -hmm. even realize because you have a reason why you haven't started yet. And yeah. it's kind of an excuse that your brain come up, comes up with. Yeah, yeah, absolutely is. Yeah. So that so that's was my accurate. first thought, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely accurate. <laughs> have you already picked a name now? I saw that you actually made the Instagram account that you were talking about and you actually already posted something. So congrats on that. Thank you. Um, I figured I would just go with my name for now. And, you know, if I want to change it later, I can do that both on Instagram and YouTube. So there's no reason to let something so small in the beginning hold me back. Is kind of where I'm at. So I'm just gonna, you know, and a lot of YouTubers use just their names. So yeah, I would also that. think that your name is pretty, I mean, it's a good name. I can pronounce it. <laughs> Everyone can pronounce it. With my yes. name, it would be so much harder. If I had a name like yours, <laughs> I would have just gone with my name as well. So yeah. What I want to know is you are doing Instagram and you said you want to start a channel and yes. it sounded like you are you just have thought about it you haven't started yet but you would really love to do this and i wanted to ask you uh if you're ready to make youtube or i assume you were talking about youtube that you want to make it your main platform because i always suggest to have one main platform to promote and showcase your artwork mm -hmm. and not have 50 things going on. Don't do TikTok and a podcast and Instagram and YouTube all at once. Just start with one main platform. So I want to know if you're ready to make YouTube your main platform. I am definitely. Um, I had a period of my life where I was on Instagram a lot. So I'm very familiar with that platform. So I can go and make a post on there and it's done within a few minutes. So to me, it's almost second nature at this point there's not a lot of effort into it. You know, you take a pretty picture and you write a post, add some hashtags and you're done. So. Yeah. You yeah. So also, you don't have to put yourself out there just as much as you have on a YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about your week. <laughs> um, so I had a lot of technical issues some of them, I guess, self-created, some of them just random, <laughs> like I dropped my phone and shattered it. <laughs> so that oh, was no. fun. I lost some of my footage, so I had to start over again. <laughs> you know, all these fun I things know that I feeling, learned in yeah. the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that's normal. <laughs> yeah. I, I can relate to that. I've lost footage before. I think every YouTuber has had that problem before. It's yeah. not a matter of whether it's going to happen. It's just a matter of how are you going to react or deal with it when it happens, because it is yeah. going to happen. <laughs> but I was proud of myself in the end that I was able to do it and create the video. So, you know. Did you already upload the video? 
Yeah, I uploaded on Thursday. That was the day mm -hmm. we decided yeah. on. Yeah, I did notice there's a lot of um, people who just have like chill music as they paint and it's just like eight minutes of them painting with chill music in the background and then I'll have, you know, a decent amount of views and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, it's an interesting approach. It could work. Uh, personally, I'd rather do the voiceover because I want yeah. people to get to know me and I want them, mm -hmm. uh, in the end, I want them to buy my stuff. I want to convert them into customers and mm -hmm. I'd rather buy something from someone that I know. And I know that that works. People have to know you and have a sense of who you are and really relate to you. And that works yeah. so much better when you talk. So I personally recommend talking most of the time yeah. just so people really get to know you as a person and you can really give it a personal touch. But as for the success of the video, it could go either way. You could really yeah. do whatever you want. You could do super chill or super quick. It will just attract different kinds of people. I have a couple questions just about, I guess, YouTube in general and your experience with it. Uh, so I'm sure, as you know, there's always so much advice out there for new YouTubers. Um, and one of the advice is to hide your subscriber count. So I did that yesterday, but I don't know, does that really make a difference? Because like when I see people like that, I'm like, why are you hiding it? So I don't know. I did it. Why? I like, oh, what's the intention behind that? I mean, why so do the, they want you to hide it? The intention is that when people see a low number, like you're under 100, they're like, well, no one else has subscribed. So why should I? So instead of them looking at your content mm. and deciding, they're looking at the number and having herd mentality. But they're um, gonna look at the number anyway. And if, I, if they don't find any number, they, they're just gonna assume that it's zero. Yeah. It's just my, my thinking. When I see someone hiding that, I'm just gonna, it's like, yeah, they're yeah. hiding something. What are they hiding? Why do they do that? I personally would not recommend doing that because I personally, I mean, I get the herd mentality thing and social proof. We always want that. We find things better that have more views. It's totally a thing. Absolutely. Yeah. But also I would say you want to get into a growth mindset with your subscribers as well. And I think you have 40 subscribers right now. Uh, Something like when that. I checked the last, yeah, it was like 44 when I last checked. So I gain so, about one or two a day at this yeah. right now. So I mean, I that's, that's awesome. Good. That's first of all, it's growing. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And also, I mean, that's already people. That's real people yeah. who decided they want to see your videos, and it's so easy to forget that. And just imagine you'd be talking to 40 people. I mean, it's a lot of people. <laughs> it's a lot of people. And be standing in the front of a room. <laughs> so it's, it's already people who are interested. And I don't yeah. know, a lot of people also want to support small creators. So it goes the other way around as well. A lot of people really want to support you when you have a small channel. And I, I don't, yeah. I personally would advise against it. It's just, it's it's something when you hide it it's also like you're saying you're ashamed of the number you're telling yourself that it's not enough but when you show it publicly you're like proud that you have those 40 people yeah. and yeah. it's just a, ve a very different mindset honestly so if you're interested in getting some coaching for your art business and honestly it doesn't matter if you're just starting out with your business or if you already have a business and need some more guidance then you have time until the 31st of March to sign up and then the doors of the coaching will close for a while and also I only I'm only able to coach three people at once so if you're one of the first three to sign up in that time frame then you will get coached right away and if you are the fourth or fifth person or whatever number then you will be put on a waiting list and then I can coach you afterwards after I've done the three people but I just want to have 
real focus on the people that I'm coaching. So I'm not going to do 15 people at once. I just really want to take my time to really help you all. So the last day to sign up will be the 31st of March. And I will keep you updated whenever the doors will open again in the future. But really make sure that you sign up by this day and also if you want to be coached right away then make sure that you sign up quickly because like i said there's a limited space so the link for the coaching on my website will be in the description box below and click on it check it out and if you have any questions then feel free to ask me just message me i don't bite i'm not mad if you then again don't decide to sign up if you change your mind it's okay just reach out to me if you have any questions and honestly sign up if you really want to take this chance to truly invest in your business because if you want to make a living with your art this is gonna significantly increase your chance to do that i really hope that you enjoyed this video and got something helpful out of it and if you have any questions about building an art business feel free to comment them in the comment section down below and i will try my best to reply or even implement some of the questions in future videos and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.